What if I told you there's now a shot, just two times a year, that blocks 99.9% .9 of new HIV infections? Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, it's real, and the US FDA just approved it. In a historic move, the FDA has greenlit yes go also known as lenacapavir, a twice-yearly injectable medication that offers near-complete protection against HIV. Today, we're diving deep into this revolutionary breakthrough. What it is, how it works, the clinical trials, and yes, the very real challenges it faces before changing the world. Let's get into it. So, what exactly is Yestugo? It's the first ever capsid inhibitor, approved for pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP. That's a fancy way of saying it stops HIV before it even starts. Unlike daily pills like Truvada or Descovi, this is just two injections a year, yes a very six months. But how does it work? It targets the HIV capsid that's the protective shell around the virus's genetic material. By disrupting that shell, lenacapavir prevents HIV from multiplying, infecting cells, and establishing itself in the body. In short, it stops HIV cold. Now, this approval didn't come out of nowhere. It's backed by powerful science and global trials. The first trial, Purpose One, focused on over 2,000 women in South Africa and Uganda. The result? Zero new infections. 100% protection. The second trial, Purpose Two, included cisgender men, transgender women, transgender men, and non-binary individuals in the US, Europe, and South America. Out of more than 2,100 participants, only two contracted HIV while receiving lenacapavir. That's a 99.9% .9 effectiveness, rate something nearly unheard of in HIV prevention. This is a massive leap forward compared to oral prep, which works have taken daily. But real life gets in the way people forget, miss doses, or can't access pills regularly. Lenacapavir solves this. Two shots a year and you're protected. Interestingly, lenacapavir didn't start out as a prevention tool. It was first approved in 2022 for HIV treatment, especially for people with drug-resistant virus strains. But while developing it, scientists at Gilead Sciences noticed something incredible. The drug sticks around in the body for months and it attacks the virus at multiple stages in its replication cycle. That's like taking out the engine, brakes, and steering of a car all at once. That multi-target effect makes it harder for HIV to adapt or resist it. And that aha moment was the pivot turning it from treatment into prevention. But let's talk safety. Can you give this to healthy people just to prevent infection? The bar is high. And yes, lenacapavir passed. Side effects were mostly mild, soreness, swelling, maybe some headaches or nausea. No severe adverse reactions. Safe, effective, convenient. So what's the catch? You guessed it, accessibility. Despite its stunning results, Lenacapavir, like other groundbreaking drugs, comes with a massive price tag. Early estimates for the US market? $25,000 per year. Yes, $25,000. Let that sink in. Advocates are concerned. Kevin Frost from Amfar said it best. We just built the best plane in the world, but tore up all the runways. He's referring to shrinking global health infrastructure cuts to programs like PEPFAR and USAID, which support testing and delivery of treatments. Without that system in place, this drug could become a luxury knot, a lifeline. And what's worse manufacturing costs? As low as $25 per person per year, according to experts like Andrew Hill from Liverpool University. That's a thousand-fold markup. Even Winnie Bayanuma from UNAIDS called it abhorrent. But there's hope. Gilead has signed royalty-free agreements with six generic drug manufacturers to make lenacapavir for low and middle-income countries, about 120 of them. That's a positive step. 
because history has shown access matters. States in the U.S. that embraced PrEP saw HIV rates drop by 38%. States that didn't? Infections rose 27%. Now here's a twist. Lenacapavir is not a vaccine, but its results are so strong, they're vaccine-like in effect, which raises ethical challenges for future vaccine trials. If you already have a drug that prevents 99.9% .9 of infections, is it ethical to test a vaccine and give someone a placebo? That's the dilemma. And some experts believe this success may even slow vaccine research. But let's not forget it's still an injection. That means clinic visits, Hawaii V testing before each shot, and access to trained professionals. People can't just walk into a pharmacy and take it themselves yet. That's why researchers are now working on a self-injection version, a possible once-a-year dose. Imagine that one shot a year to prevent HIV. That's the dream. So where does that leave us? Lenacapavir, or yes to go is perhaps the most powerful tool we've ever had to prevent HIV. But science alone isn't enough. To truly end the epidemic, we need equity, affordability, and global access. This is a defining moment in HIV history. Let's not waste it. So now we turn it over to you, our viewers. What's the biggest challenge you see in getting this life-saving drug to the people who need it most? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Let's fight stigma with science together.